<laughs> Isaac, it's take two. Don't do the best. It's take two. I forgot, I forgot that we're not allowed to swear on YouTube. You like, it's 1984. You swore, literally 1984. You swore, <laughs> you swore, you swore 10 minutes, you swore 10 seconds into a three minute intro. <laughs> I did. And I kept going. All right. Uh, okay. Hello. That, that intro was about how we have no time. <laughs> I've got yes. no time. Uh, we have forty-four minutes before we literally go live. Zach's here. We can't. We can't have another uh, uh, rant about chicken wings. That's correct. Michael's here. <laughs> Hello. Mira's here. Hello. Michael, I understand that you have a theory for us. I'm gonna get set up here real fast. Uh, uh, Zach, do all the plugs while I'm doing that. Quick as you uh, can. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a Yu-Gi-Oh! video in the description. Correct. Uh, hopefully I have a new video essay for my channel in the description. Now I'm on a two-minute or a two-week timer, so it has to get done. Uh, also in the description is links to our Discord, which we're recording this in, and our Patreon, where you can hear uh, the long chicken wing rant we just went on uh, as a Patreon outtake yeah. coming soon. Oh, also, Tom, you're now on a time. Uh, also, also, <laughs> uh, uh, uh Mira, Zach, and I uh, uh, did a recording not too long ago uh, titled uh, Dayron Cole, uh, and the audio is a disaster, <laughs> so that'll probably be a Patreon outtake if anyone wants to go and listen to our terrible, buzzy phrasing. That was when I was stranded in the, uh, the worst hotel room of my month. Not my life, my <laughs> month. <laughs> did we record that? We did. We did a day on yeah, call yes. video. <laughs> Mira we thought you were just talking. Mi Mira also no, did not I... find it terribly memorable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember talking. Oh my goodness. It's been a time. It's been a time, y'all. Oh my god. All right. Uh 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 we have very brief time for intros. Uh Mira, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, I'm and, walking back into my office building. I forgot my wallet. How are you, oh, Tom? Oh, no, I'm fantastic. <laughs> Michael, you tell us how you're doing and then get us right into the theory, please. I'm doing very good. And if you see that this video is more than 46 minutes long, you will know that it's uh, we're either making them late for a live stream or the end of this video is also the beginning of their live stream. Which would either be way. very funny. <laughs> you just go live. It just be on the live stream. Stream. It would be on brand to go live in the middle of a sentence, and then this is the end of this theory is the opening bit to the stream. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would be on brand instead of no time to brush my hair in between. So I'm just gonna go on looking <laughs> like I like I'm putting on the world of science that I cosplay. Also, we stream through OBS, so uh, 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 the end of this video would be us getting the video like ready for the stream. It would be us doing video checks. <laughs> Uh, all right, get us in there. Get us well, in there. I, I better get us the opening clue. Yeah. Um. So I'll tell you when you can start writing. Okay. Uh, the trees will teach him, said Leaf. He beckoned, and another of the singers padded forward. The white-haired one that Mira had named Snowy Locks. All right, now start writing. She had a oh weirwood bowl in her hands. She had a no. <laughs> a weirwood bowl in her hands, carved with a dozen faces. Like the ones the heart trees wore. Inside was a white paste, thick and heavy, with dark red veins running through it. You must eat of this, said Leaf. She handed Bran a wooden spoon. The boy looked at the bowl uncertainly. What is it? A paste of weirwood seeds. Is it? The boy said... Uncertainly. Uh, uncertainly. Uh, uh, and then, then a paste of weirwood seeds. A paste of weirwood seeds. Uh, Mira, let's throw to you while I'm meticulously uh, uh, fixing all of these typos. That, that is perfect timing because I just got off the elevator. Um, so I know that this is the weirwood paste in Blood Raven's cave uh, that that makes Bran hallucinate, um, and some people speculate is actually made of Jojen. Dang, yeah, many people speculate the uh, part of the paste is Jojen. 
So you could, yeah, you just put many people speculate Jojen paste at some point whenever you finish up the opening clue. Thank you. I'm this going means as we fast can call as I can. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, I mean, we we have gotten to a ding in. <laughs> we we got to a ding in record time, so many people speculate yeah. Jojen is paste. Do you have a follow up to weirwood paste, Zach? Hey, uh, uh, give me a second to chew on this. Uh, okay, um. I, I've taken a second. I've chewed on it. I am now getting visions. I see my grandfather and he's like sacrificing someone to a pile of grape leaves it's very strange Dang. It's, it's also what what <laughs> the, the first thing that Bran sees out of the weirwood's eyes uh so the, the last thing that he sees but the first thing going backwards in time is uh the I don't know where I don't know if I even have the full quote, but it's the woman sacrificing a person with a sickle is the oldest vision Bran sees. Uh, so like the first vision from the Weirwood Tree, sort of I don't know, yeah, yeah. earliest. It's hard to say, uh, like what what the correct wording is. The oldest vision, the last vision, whatever. The earliest thing Bran sees is yeah. The sacrifice of a person with the sickle. Yo, a sickle is the gnarliest sacrifice tool. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's, yes. it's, it's not designed for that. And man, that's gotta be, <laughs> that's gotta be nasty, dude. Yeah. yeah. My God. As it were. <laughs> yep. Funk. Oh, literally. Funk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my brand. <laughs> Uh okay, there we go. Uh cool. Um So I I do I do have a thought here. Which is yeah. it's specified that the pole is weirwood, which is interesting because it makes me think of um the the Romans used to drink out of like copper cups and that like had some notable health effect on them. That led yeah. to yes. Uh and I hear British police like, drink yeah. out of copper cups. Yes, that too. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 uh, sorry, sorry. We have we have thirty minutes. I'm sorry. We do. We do. Uh, this is like fascinating to me because potentially, if you like, if weirwoods like just have like crazy hallucinogenic effects, like if you had a bread bowl with a regular soup in it, but that bread bowl instead of being made out of bread, it's made out of like <laughs> actually, it could just be made with bread that has like uh, ergo in it, like the, yeah, the yeah. fungus that makes you hallucinate. Like, yeah, would that soup, even if you didn't eat the bread bowl, make you all, like, hallucinating? I don't know. Tra trace amounts? Well, yeah, luckily, amounts. In, in this case, uh, the bowl and the paste are apparently made yeah. of the same hallucinogenic ingredient. Yeah, if you if you um, have a, a hallucinogenic bread bowl, but your soup is also hallucinogenic, are you getting more dosage? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what's, the, what's it? Is this, is this bread bowl sourdough? I can see more colors now. <laughs> i got you this stew it's in a bowl made out of lsd but it's okay don't worry the stew is also lsd i i got you i got you this stew it's made of a man named stew <laughs> <laughs> um but okay to get us to get us to the point we we are uh not talking about what the bowl is made out of but we are talking about what the stuff inside the bowl is made out of um it's weirwood paste uh, uh, which is uh, uh similar to acorn paste which they mentioned earlier oh yes uh yeah that will give you a ding for that uh oh. it, it had a, a bitter taste a roll, guys yeah right. it had a bitter taste though not so bitter as acorn paste the first spoonful was the hardest to get down. He almost stretched it right back up. The second tasted better. The third was almost sweet. The rest he spooned up eagerly. Second Why had he thought that it was bitter? We don't necessarily need to write all of this, but like it, the tastes change and get better. And he thinks, why had they, Why had he thought that it was bitter? It tasted of honey, of new fallen snow. With pepper and cinnamon and the last kiss his mother ever gave him. The empty bowl slipped from his fingers. 
Uh, so yeah, the, the main point there is it tastes bitter, but then also tastes like a bunch of other things. Oh, oh, I know, I know how this story goes, Michael. Yeah, uh, do you? This is like Daenerys. This is like the shade of the evening from the blue and black piece. It is. We oh, talked yeah, about is. that in the House of the Undying, and it is not super relevant to this theory, though. I, this is a, I, I, a I, that is a fantastic I, I, video, I, though, and you it's a good poll. Yeah. Can I can I yeah. try a from downtown thing that I think yes, might be please. a good? Yes, please. In in House of the Dragon, Damon eats something that might be weirwood paste. That's true. Damon's tripping balls right now. Yeah, He's that is very weird. relevant. Yes, so that is very relevant, and this theory may shed some light on it, but it's not so many things from House of the Dragon currently. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, I was it, hoping that, that you're going to imply the person being sacrificed for the sickle was somehow related to Damon tripping balls, <laughs> like they're sharing memories or some shit. No, no, but if this theory is true, it it like has weird sort of implications, I guess, Ooh. for for Damon. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Dairy, their sigil is a plowman with a scythe or a sickle, right? Ooh, I I don't know, but that uh, that is no. not the the most relevant. What a cool pull! I was also about to hop yeah. off the sickle imagery. Um, <laughs> the the, the oh, can I try to whole shot it? I want to whole shot the theory. Yes. Um, yeah, go for it. The the Greyjoy words are "We do not sow." Uh, 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 which is the opposite of uh, like like a sickle uh, is used for reaping. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, the Greyjoys are the opposite. Are you asserting that we do not sow? Uh, is a reference to there not being any weirwood trees on the Iron Islands? That, that, that I they, am that not. They do not commune with weirwood trees. No, but that is interesting. That's a cool theory. That is interesting. That's a yeah, it is. We could do that. That's a good one. <laughs> we can we can figure we can figure out something for that. We would go down that rabbit hole if we didn't have thirty two minutes you're right, until you're right, you you're go right. live. You're right. Ooh. Um, go ahead if anyone uh, had anything. So okay, so white walls and Heron Hall both were made with a uh, weirwood. Uh, Heron Hall certainly for the rafters. I think white walls for like all of the wood in the castle, both on the shores of the God's Eye. And so and those both things castles get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, those things could become relevant and interesting to discuss after we get to the end of the theory. But uh, just to keep it like somewhat streamlined, those aren't relevant yet. Hang on. But they're being weird okay. from the wall. Could be interesting later. Wait, Mira, I kind of want to bounce off that. Can I bounce off? Can I do a like yeah. a ninety second tangent? Yeah, you know, you, you guys are the ones who have the time limit. Shit. Okay. <laughs> you can do as many tangents as you want. Mira, I'm bouncing off that. Uh. The, the the person that we know becomes in control of White Walls is Brendan Rivers. The person that we yes. know has the, like, the, like, mathematically the most control over the God's eye of anyone in history is Brendan Rivers. He's, yeah. we, we assume, he's the one who manages to get Dark Sister off of the bottom of the lake. Um... Uh, uh uh oops mild spoilers uh might have to put that in the description uh um we don't know how it got there Damon, it was, we need to, we need to say how it got Damon there. got Damon got angry and threw it he does that like like the dragon egg like you're on <laughs> dragon egg yeah it's your it's a reverse it's lady in the lake scenario where there was a woman in a lake and instead of uh getting a sword he gave her a sword whoever could throw the sword to... closest <laughs> whoever chucks the sword the closest to the lady in the lake gets the throne that's how that story goes right it's yes. okay we know that he walked out of the lake uh uh and is living in the mountains <laughs> yes <laughs> um so anyway but where were you going with that where were you going with that blood raven tangent uh, there there um, tom uh 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 in charge of white walls it yeah. rules over the god's eye yeah it is uh, uh, and presumably becomes one of the like people most significantly in charge of Heron Hall, right next to um, uh, the God's Eye. So is he like collecting weirwood castles? 
that is an interesting discussion for a different theory that we could definitely chat about you're at right, some point. You're right. You're right. Um, a good, hang on, we'll put this, this in the corner. A good question for another time. That's my next <laughs> theory, Tom. No! <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I'll still make the video essay. Okay. Uh, if you want me to do, if you want me to do like a guest, uh, like a guest audio clip, I will. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one. Uh, some star war. Uh, um. Okay. All right. I have oh, ex I have exhausted. I have I've exhausted the end of that tangent. Somebody else take it. All right. I was just gonna say if we had kept the eating uh chicken wings and like uh <laughs> talking about eating chicken wings in sketchy locations bit at the beginning, it okay. would have been a very good lead into this theory. What? The uh, this is more of like a. Well, wait, this, Michael, this, I said Branimal the Cannibal. Yes, um, uh, so, just sort of an ingredients, um, well, theory. Well, well, I got the title for the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that could work. Um, what is it said that the paste is made out of? This will get us somewhat on track, I think. Uh, ground weirdness? And, and not leaves. Uh, Seeds. Seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so one of the one of the interesting things happened, and if you want to pull up a search of ice and fire, if you're playing along at home, or those of you who have to actually guess, you might want to see what happens uh, if you can find any other references to weirwood seeds on a search of ice and Marwin. fire. Uh, Marwin, Marwin made you weirwood leaves. Leaves, darn it. Yeah. Well, in House of the Dragon, uh, we see Alice mushing them and licking her fingers. Right, we see her mushing something. We don't know for sure if those are weirwood seeds, mm. but there's something that looks seed-like on her on her hand. But yeah, that's kind of weirwood seeds. I don't like the phrase "seed-like" in this context. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same. I agree. Well, da da that's how Danny describes the shade of the evening. It tastes like Drogo's seed. That's true. Yeah. God, uh, I hate to say it, but you should probably write that as a ding. God damn it. Oh, no. I hate, I hate that that, you know, there, there's two parts to this. There's multiple parts to this theory, and that's definitely a ding for one of them. Go, go look Yay. up what the shade of the evening tastes, <laughs> evening tastes like. like. Yeah. There's gonna be there's gonna be a few things we might not put on the board directly in this one because I don't think it's gross, but I yeah. but YouTube sure does. YouTube does. <laughs> there's a lot of that. I don't yep. think YouTube does metaphor, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, true. Or, uh, or uh, they, uh, they, they don't recognize thing? one seed for the other. Uh, so what okay. do they when they sound the same? Colloquialism. Uh, Is it the yeah. You know what? That's a good um, point. You're right. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Uh, in any case, in any case, uh, have, you, have any of you searched weirwood seeds no, on the search of ice and fire? I've been talking about cum. What have you been doing? <laughs> well, we'll do that more later, Tom. There's more of that later. So let's weirwood seeds first. <laughs> <laughs> it only appears one time, Michael. Exactly. That's, that's weird, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Look up. Okay, okay, okay. That's part of what we're getting at, right? <laughs> it's the only time in the books that weirwood seeds are mentioned. <laughs> okay. If you also search for weirwood saplings, there is also one time that there is a weirwood sapling mentioned. Uh, do you know what that is? The tree was slender compared to the others, no more than a sapling, yet it's, it was growing as he watched. This is in a, a, a Clash of Kings, a John. Um, a John? It's a John. Vision. It's a John vision. It's a John. The sapling, if you read on, oh. is Bran in the vision. So it isn't a real weirwood oh. sapling. Oh. Yeah. Are we, are we getting so what wait, I'm kind of driving wait, at here? Okay. Okay, Michael. Uh, this is disgusting because Jojen is a child. But are you are you implying that if if a sapling 
is a growing child or like a growing green seer, then the seed would, would is literally if he because we allege that he ate Jojen. Uh, I'm not saying that part out loud because it's disgusting. Uh, and somebody somebody yeah. did leave this exact comment in one of our videos recently. Oh, really? I hate, uh, I hate, uh, hate Jojen. I hate everything. I hate that half of this theory too. Yeah. That half of half of the theory is that half of weirwood paste is white, and yeah. there are Ugh. there are two bodily fluids in a Song of Ice and Fire that have been shown to have magical properties. Um, Stannis has to sleep with Melisandre to make a shadow baby. Uh, That's not the part of the theory we need to dwell on too hard, but it is there. No, don't um, say too hard in this context either. Are you, <laughs> are you implying that the the, uh, con the the content of Weirwood paste is the same things that were used to create the art for Metallica's Load album cover? <laughs> what a fucking um, pull that was, Zach. Who was that for? Who was that <laughs> joke for, Zach? It's, it's, with it's with famous, 24 the, the, minutes, people, with 24 people, minutes to go. <laughs> People, people who are fans of Metallica call "Load" the Blood and Cum album because that's what the art on it is made of. It's I, literally that. I've decided I don't like this episode. <laughs> the, this is not. Yeah. This is the. This is the half that that uh, of the theory that is kind of <laughs> gross, and I was hoping we wouldn't spend the most time on. How could you but possibly? Right how now. would you think that? I thought we would get to the other half. The okay. other parts first. All but right. This was like this was a thought that I had that it was unfortunately somewhat supported by the text. All right. Let me let me respond to this as a serious pitch. I hate yeah. it, but it does track within the story. Uh, uh that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. yeah that, I also hate it a lot. That does not mean that I hate yeah. it any less. Uh but uh, yep. but I but I see where you're coming from, and it, it's an interesting perspective. Um that that does seem to be substantiated, yes. Yeah, the way that I thought about it in my head is I'm like, oh, dang, there's two halves to this theory, one that I kind of like and is really cool and is supported by the text, fortunately, and one that I really kind of hate and is unfortunately supported by the text. And it is, it's supported by the Shady yes. Evening stuff, too. Damn. And I do have a ding from Healthline.com that you what maybe don't fuck? need to write. Uh, oh, it's it it's. The beginning, yes, the beginning line of an article. God, Salty, yeah. sweet, dirt, metallic, sharp, sour, yeah. you name the flavor, and there's a chance your semen will taste that way one day. And then it goes on to talk about how it tastes like many different things. Um, so I, I want to comment on this. There's a famous uh, uh, person on a uh, Tumblr blog who... This is gross. It's it's gross. Zach, and also no, kind of no, I'm not letting with with 22 minutes. I'm not and letting you take gross. us into this Tumblr blog. You're not going. You're, you're not going to uh, uh, let me regale the great uh, uh, Tumblr cum tasting uh, survey. No. <laughs> oh God. I think we can let the imagination. That is considered like a resource that we are citing for viewers to go look up on their own time. Yes. There, there, there is <laughs> yeah. a, 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 like two se but two don't. sentence version two sentence version uh she she would have her uh boyfriend eat different foods and then write qualitatively uh taste uh, when she uh tasted it later i really uh, like how a, we were it, all like no gross don't do that <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you said wait wait i'm gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> well, the, is that not on? Is that not on branch? I'm not disputing that yeah. particular part of this. The, she no, she I, gave the I highest. She gave the highest Meryl. score to pineapple. Mara, oh. what? I'm sorry. I have to interject now. Well, everybody knows about the pineapple, but yeah, the, this is a terrible survey, Zach. What we needed was a series of of various couples. You know. Yes. Is, submitting God. you know to, to see it. if the results you're, you're you're correct your sample is skewed and you should have eaten more cum no no i'm saying good night everybody weird seeds. Weird seeds. um it's <laughs> that we don't see weirwood seeds we don't see weirwood fruit we don't see anyone planting a weirwood in our story they've talked about how they couldn't plant one at the veil that is another side of it. it like, where are weirwood seeds coming from? If there's no fruit, 
There's no weirwood pine cones. There's no, you know? Yeah. Um, we don't know anything about well, growing a weirwood. We, we do have... I do have reasons in, in A Feast for Crows um, at at that scary-ass place that they go to, what's it called? The uh, the Whispers? Um, there is reference yeah. to, to a slender young weirwood. Yes, I just read that line today, and actually that is one of the dings, so very good. Um, brother the Bailey opened up guy. before her overgrown... Uh, I don't know. You don't necessarily need to write the whole the whole thing um, here. I mean, honestly, this one isn't as much of a ding other than the fact that, like, this is the one time we see a young weirwood. Because I also, after I couldn't find sapling, I couldn't find anything about seeds, fruit, cones, like anything. I found a young weirwood, and this was the one time. Um, and it's it. Uh, I like it a lot as someone who thinks that when the wall collapses there might be trees inside because the way that george writes it uh he says where the keep had been was a pile of collapsed stones overgrown with green and purple moss the yard was all weeds and pine needles soldier pines were everywhere drawn up in solemn ranks in their midst was a pale stranger a slender young weirwood with a trunk as white as a cloistered maid dark red leaves sprouted from its reaching branches Beyond was the emptiness of sky and sea where the wall had collapsed and the remnants of a fire. Ooh, I see the imagery. I see the imagery yeah. you're going for, and I do like it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so I have a, another thought um, about why we wouldn't really get um, saplings or seeds. Uh, what is dead may never die. And Ooh. we know that the weirwoods, when left alone, you know, they never rot. You know, like it, yeah, well, that's it, true. Um, so it, they are in a, I, I think you know, somewhat zombified in a state of arrested development. The other thing there from that description, Michael, is uh, they are described, or the the this young weirwood is described as a pale stranger. Yeah, what what does the stranger do? Is the the death one? What yeah. Made her die? Is, is that dead one? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. Or what are you suggesting then? If you need, if you, if Mira, your plant, or you're transported to Westeros right now, and you need to grow a weirwood, what are you going to try to do? Kill someone. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Right. With the with um, the sickle, like the Grim Reaper. Because I could which, not stop for death, he kindly oh, stopped for me. Yeah, yeah that's very well, yeah. Which, what would that sort of make weirwood seeds? Souls. If, um, if yeah, that's what you souls. need. Uh, yeah, basically, weirwood seeds are people. So when she says it's a paste made of weirwood seeds, she's yeah. she's literally telling him, oh, this is a paste made of people. Oh! You're, it, you're it's soy, it's soylent red. You're looking me in the eyes and 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 saying that there is literal, there is no weirwood in this. It's just people. It's, that yeah. that weirwood seeds is a clever way of saying this is a paste of people lying to Bran in a way that is very similar to what we talked about last episode with a little lie of omission. Still, yeah, because so the way the way you said we 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 would human sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. It's a paste. Right. Yeah. I'm, buying, I'm, buying, I'm buying what you're selling, except, except that we did pull Shade of the Evening in because we talked about Drogo's seed, right? And I yes. can buy that a paste made of common blood is red and white. <laughs> How is Shade of the Evening blue? Let's take uh, the, the Shade of the Evening trees and make food coloring out of their leaves. I don't know. <laughs> And uh, like that is, or, yeah. Or maybe like maybe yeah. there are weirwood leaves in the in the weirwood paste. Yeah, because like right. I, well, I would expect yeah. that that like eating weirwood leaves would give you similar effects, but those are not yes. weirwood seeds. Yeah. Jojen is weirwood seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. in. Yeah, me too. Um, I hate other... it. I fucking hate it so much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, another one of the dings was the face on the black gate being described as like, um, if a person, let's see, 
If a man could live for a thousand years and never die, his, just grow older, his face might come to look like that. Don't um, say and, 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 and Jojen, Jojen is described as a tiny old man. Oh shit! Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a little um, grandfather or something. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So I, huh. I think an important part of the process of planting a new weirwood is uh, killing a person, potentially, possibly like making. A, there are some trees where you can graft a new tree, right? Yeah. And if there's no seeds, then clearly you must have to do that with weirwoods. Oh my god! So oh, my god, the oh my god! Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, no, I was I was thinking about the dragon seeds. And the sowing of the dragon seeds also involved uh, sacrificing some of them to the dragons. Oh because yeah. Several of them died. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 And so there's like uh, yeah. sacrifices to the dragons anyway is kind of seemingly a thing. Uh, course, so yeah, those sacrifices works. could help. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. humans being referred to as seeds. Yeah. Yep. 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 Ooh, um, can we pull Garth Greenhand in here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he definitely like had that whole like rumor that sometimes he would require a drop of blood to get his blessing. And the other thing he would do is sleep with your daughter to grant his blessings. So yeah. When are, are oh, you yeah. are you suggesting that that Garth Greenhand is the one who planted all the weirwoods all over the Seven Kingdoms? Um, I so this is another yeah, thing I've thought about. Yeah, well, this is a thing that I've <laughs> thought about too, and haven't put out a video on. Um, like with the line that Garth required a drop of blood there is a reading of the history where like westeros wasn't doing all this blood magic and then garth the green like goes around and like he's like the drug dealer that like offers you the sample to get you addicted and he gives them a Don't drop of blood magic yeah and their, their crops are way better and then all of a sudden next thing you know a thousand years later you're stringing entrails up in the trees all the time and you don't even remember why this, time this travel makes me not think even once funny. <laughs> this makes me think of some of the magic. Uh, post-industrial like Westeros has like a weirwood growing kit in their closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like don't all right, That's find a thing. find a child no one's gonna miss. It's it's almost a little shop of horrors, right? Where it's like you have to feed the plant a person. Yeah. And, yeah, and notably, think... Audrey Audrey twos for another planet. She's literally an alien plant. George has all sorts of weird sci-fi shit like in the magic. So that right. that has like writing precedent. Like I can't imagine George is unfamiliar with Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> maybe maybe the Beerwoods are all just a coded reference to that. The the theory the theory has started to go sideways. We gotta bring it back. Gotta bring it back on the track. No, no. We no. have twelve minutes. No, no, it's oh. it's way better if the weird would start eating people and singing. <laughs> well, since we have only a little bit of time left, I was going to also suggest that um, the the Starks, when they die, uh, they carve their likeness into stone statues, and all of the Weirwoods have faces, like ancient faces, carved. Oh. So I'm wondering, yeah, if those aren't the faces of whoever was sacrificed as the seed for that Weirwood Holy tree. Holy shit! Wait, what does that imply about John's dream? Well, Bran is the weirwood. He's the sapling. Uh, so he might be, like, wed up to that tree. It could kind of imply he's sacrificed as the tree. But, Bran like... Gonna die. Bran could die and be reborn by some crazy, like, weirwood magic. Because he is, like, the Summer King, and the mythology is the Summer King dies in the winter and is reborn in the spring. So, yeah. Okay. Like, Bran as the Summer King could die. I have homework. I have homework for, ev I have homework for the folks at home, okay? Um... I would like descriptions of weirwoods. The fa I would like descriptions of the faces on weirwoods, cross-referenced with notable people with potential green seer powers. I bet we can find one. I bet we can find some that line. Yeah. Up. I I bet that like, oh gosh, like a young a youngish weirwood could maybe be egg, maybe. Uh, well, that that's the problem is is like there are hardly any youngish weirwoods. Like that's kind of the thing. You look around, it looks like they kind of forgot 
how to do this. There, there might be like more complicated ritual involved or something, maybe. Well, either that or like it, it was a thing that they did thousands of years ago, and they haven't like grown a new one in a minute. Yeah, that's and it. now I, they don't quite remember how. I'm calling my shot. I'm calling the shot here. Um, uh, uh, when we eventually see Summerhall, uh, in in this terrible wasteland that Rhaegar kept visiting, there will be a uh, a, a weirwood, a relatively young weirwood with egg space. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. That would be good. There you go. How's that for a place to end? God damn, that's pretty good. This is a cool yeah, thing. And I hate good. it. <laughs> yeah, well, what, if they, what if they go to the Tower of Joy and Weirwoods are going? <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. I uh I do I do have uh one other I mean, one like other how, thing like that I think we have time. <laughs> I, I think we have time to go down this rabbit hole. Okay. So um you. okay. If there is a situation where the way that you grow a weirwood is you have a dead weirwood or a weirwood branch or a grafting of some sort and then you have to essentially feed it sacrificial blood that could explain why in house of the dragon there's a ton of weirwood roots growing out of all of the walls of heron hall because it's said that heron the black mortared the stone with blood Whoa. so if he's putting weirwood surrounded by blood and he knew what he was doing Part of what I think is going on is that Heron the Black knew what he was doing and was knowingly planting weirwoods inside of his walls oh by mortaring the stone with blood yes. and surrounding weirwood beams. Beautiful fucking Nightmare oh. Castle, yes! Yeah. And, and I, I have one additional one that Viper and I got to uh, in our whichever episode that was. Um, that one of the last places south of the wall where there's still like a weirwood grove is on the Isle of Faces in the center of God's Eye. And God's Eye is basically a drain for all the blood that gets spilled in these wars in the center of the oh, continent. Oh, what a great um, point! That, and, yeah, oh, and the and the rivers are called blood, the green blood. And the... No, that's in the south, but hold on. I was going okay. somewhere with that. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, just, I just got excited. Oh no, you're you're good. Um, the god's eye is soaking up all the blood. Yeah, basically, um, because yeah, the pe people die in the rivers, and they get you know some of them get washed out to like the Quiet Isle, but some of them presumably the river, uh, or the the blood would run into God's eye. Yeah, like so. So the 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 green men take the light take the half dead soldiers that wash up on their floor and they don't fix them up like the quiet aisle they cut their throats in the middle of the weirwood grove yep yeah shit yeah and the targaryens have been have been feeding them because what was it the fish feed yeah uh we won't say what yeah. that is because that's a spoiler but yeah well and um magor magor kills his nephew aegon in the god's eye over the yeah. god's eye and also other yeah. stuff happens in the god very very notable stuff with very notable things very and, and, and also his sword like, in the god's eye yeah well, we, and also other stuff there, also there's there's like it's noted in the world books that there's uh a, a disproportionate amount of like weirwood still in the riverlands just out you need to go find them in like the woods and sort of thing and there's also just been a disproportionate amount of like battles in the riverlands where people have just died like it's like war crime central out there in every single book that we get so like it is kind of that is kind of the thing too the one place we see a young weirwood for sure is a place where like the castle has collapsed a bunch of people probably did die there and it's also the whispers which is the creepy castle that supposedly a woods witch was living at and the guy would bring like heads back there and give them to his wife, who was a woods witch, and then she would kiss them, and then they would start talking. So that's the only place we see a young weirwood, and I imagine someone probably died there uh, for that weirwood to start growing. But that's you know, that's just my speculation. I love this series. It's yeah, oh, it's so gnarly. It's really good. It is good. But yeah, weirwood right, seeds are people. I think. I think that's the main point. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Michael, is there anything that you're excited to talk about? Anything you're working on? Uh, no, I, I 
pretty soon going to be working on a video talking about exactly what we just talked about that will hopefully be out by the time you're watching this. Nice. Uh, uh, Mira, how about you? Uh, nothing really new. Eventually, I'll finish that episode nine video and the Nick Let's Go video. Eventually. <laughs> the, one, the, one with, the one with the Jeopardy in it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I I made some real baller jokes in that one, and I th- I've been thinking about those jokes lately. I've been really excited. <laughs> I, I I made I made a couple of good jokes and also some horse jokes that aren't going to be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said I said the animal cruelty jokes could stay in as long as they were really funny. So I'll have to go back and review. Was, I, I to be fair, we anything. don't. I never I never said animal cruelty. We don't know how the horse died. We just know where its body ended up. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I'm not going to sing this. <laughs> <laughs>